Every year at Halloween and other holidays, I love to bring you guys a bolo list of the items that are selling for incredible amounts of money over on eBay in the hopes that you might stumble across one of these items and scoop it up because you saw it right here on my Halloween bolo list. Let's get straight into the bolo list. Here are some of the highest priced Halloween items that just sold on eBay. All right. <laughs> Quality and antique German paper mache. That is something that you're going to see repeated on pretty well every holiday bolo list I'll ever do until the end of time. So why repeat myself? Simple. New people are coming into the reselling community every day. And what's old hat to some, pick up German paper mache, may be new information to others. I will never forget some of those gems of knowledge and information that I gleaned from seasoned resellers as a brand new reseller. And it's my passion to pass that along. So look for paper mache or paperboard items. If they are especially antique German, you're sitting on a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money, you guys. Check out this one. Museum quality Venetian do German J-O-L with bug on nose vintage Halloween antique. Uh, it, does that say that it sold for over $9,000? Like $9,433? Yes, it does. I had to give you guys more looks at this item. Here is the back of it, the side. She even had a video. The seller on this is so top notch. She had a video showcasing how uh, the little bug on his nose actually moved. It was it was floppy, it was like springy. Um, inside looks like a melted candle. <laughs> this absolutely looks like something that a lot of people would walk right by. Um, it's adorable though. There were 43 bids, guys, 43 bids to bring this up to almost $10,000. Do some people have more money than cents? I mean, I get it. It's very cute, it's an antique. It's They're not making them anymore, but my goodness, almost $9,500, you could buy a car or two for that amount of money. So when you see old paperboard items, pick them up. You're gonna see a few more examples a little later on in the video, but I just had to start the video out with a bang on this one. 9,400, woo, it's just crazy. Following that up very closely, how about this $6,999 sale, almost $7,000 for a Halloween standard pinball machine, spooky pinball. They even photoshopped a little ghost into the picture here. It is Halloween, the movie. It's a pinball machine and yeah, almost $7,000. Uh, I'm probably not coming across one of these in an old barn anytime soon, but just in case I do, I love knowing that it's worth $7,000 and not $70. Maybe you'll make money on one of these one day. And when you do, remember me. Remember me when you hit it big. If you clicked on this video, chances are you are a reseller and that's the name of the game here on my channel. My favorite thing to do is to give resellers the tips and tricks and hints they need to be successful on marketplaces like eBay, whatnot, Poshmark, and beyond. I don't gatekeep anything here on the channel and one of my favorite tips and hacks is to use a cross-listing software to take your inventory from one marketplace, say you just listed on eBay, to nearly a dozen marketplaces with the click of a few buttons. I do all of my cross-listing in my reselling business with the help of the sponsor of today's video, Vendu. Why do I talk about Vendu so much? Because they just keep getting better. I have never seen any company in reselling listen to the community quite like Vendu does and they heard us talking about how monotonous, how time consuming it takes to send out offers. Because if I'm gonna send out offers on eBay, then I have to go to Poshmark and send out offers, then I have to go to Mercari and send out offers, and Depop and send out offers. And in reselling, as in in live, Time is money. Vendu wants to put more of that money in your pocket, so they just came out with a tool that's gonna solve this problem for us. This Vendu feature is so new, it hasn't even launched yet. It is launching soon, and you want to be a part of the Vendu community when it does. It is bulk offers on Vendu, and it is exactly what you think it is. On Vendu, you're going to be able to centralize all of your offer activity. You're gonna be able to send out offers to all of those platforms we just talked about, in one place. So I take a pair of shoes that I have listed for $50 and let's just say I wanna offer everyone $39.99. I am running a big sale on these shoes. In the past, I would have to go to eBay and make that offer, Poshmark and make that offer, Depop and make that offer, all of these different marketplaces. But now, 
I'm so excited about this. Vindu is launching the capability to, within Vindu, say $39.99 and syndicate that to every marketplace, every watcher that you have, everyone, every liker that you have, anyone that is able to see your offer is going to be able to see that offer and you only have to send it at one time. No more switching between marketplaces, no more switching between apps. I am in love with this new feature. I am a busy mom. I'm running multiple businesses. Time is absolutely money. Time is worth more to me the money. I can make more money. I am never going to get my time back. And Vindu understands that. And the best part is when this new feature launches, it's going to be free. So head to Vindu, get signed up and take advantage of that feature when it launches free. There's a reason this is the first time you're hearing about this is because this is groundbreaking. This has not even launched yet. Thank you again to Vindu for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the bolos. There are a few artists who are synonymous with Halloween, with the holidays, and one of those artists is Scott Smith. Scott Smith's artwork sells for enough, you could buy yourself a used Honda. One thing you'll notice about the Scott Smith sales is multiple bidders. There's a following for Scott Smith's work and interestingly enough, I noticed looking through the seller store that this is Scott Smith himself actually. Night Before Christmas over on eBay is the store if you want to search out what those Scott Smith pieces look like, like this one that sold for $6,300 with 20 bids, that is just crazy. Night Before Christmas is the name and he doesn't even put that many pictures of his work. Um, you'll see usually four photos. But Scott Smith of Ruckus Studios uh, mans this eBay. He is selling his own artwork. This one sold for $6,209. That's just crazy. There's three photos, you guys three photos and this thing had multiple bidders. Here's another one with 36 bids of the fortune teller Nodder by Scott Smith. Uh, this one actually had some movement to it so he included a video in the listing almost $6,000. So when I opened up his eBay store, these are the various sales within his store. All his original artwork in the last 90 days, these are the pieces that sold. I can't even imagine having art that sells consistently four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for one sculpture. He is pretty incredible at what he does. Definitely look out for those Scott Smith pieces or if anything even looks that style, I feel like collectors may be interested in that. Scott Smith wasn't the only Scott that I found bringing in big Halloween bucks. How about Scotty Cameron? Or rather these Scotty Cameron blade covers. I guess they are putter covers. This entire collection together sold for $5,500. I am always looking for Scotty Cameron things. I've never found any of them, but even I could not imagine that these putter covers would sell for $5,500. That's really pretty incredible, but they are really very detailed as well. Here's another one of those rare German paper mache pieces raking in over five grand. And on this one, I wanted to show you guys what the bottom of these pieces look like. It looks like simply a little brad that is in there. Um, so look for that. You can tell looking at this that it is a paperboard composite. And take a look at this one. This is a devil head bucket on the bottom. You could actually see where it says made in Germany or Germany. So if you see them paper, if you see them with that brad, if you see made in Germany, pick those suckers up. Cause even the devil head here, $5,900. These are sold comps guys. These are not listed, sold for almost six grand. Oh man, Lee Max is such a great brand for Halloween and Christmas, any type of village pieces. This is a bundled lot of just four of the Lee Max Spooky Town buildings, $3,750. Now, not all Lee Max pieces sell for that. Obviously, there are a few standout pieces, a few more rare, hard to find, but these pieces, I mean, gosh, I had to show you guys that sold comp. Another brand that stands out to me at Halloween is Gimme. Jimmy, I have asked you guys probably three or four times how to pronounce that and three or four times the comments have erupted and telling me if that is a soft or hard G sound and I still can't remember. Gimme? I feel like it's Gimme. <laughs> this brand, Halloween uh, inflatables and animatronics. Guys, check these out from the 90s. These full size like Michael Myers, uh, you have Rob Zombie selling for over a thousand dollars. 
Here's another Rob Zombie, A Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. All of these full-size figures, they go for a lot of money, over a thousand dollars. There's a Leatherface animatronic, uh, Scream Ghostface. So basically all of the horror movies, um, any of the characters from those movies, if you see an animatronic, it just be aware it's not a several hundred dollar piece, it's a thousand dollar plus piece. And my friend Christopher owns an estate company in Texas, and he recently bought an estate that included so many of these. He said that he priced them up very high, and they were the absolute first thing to go in that sale. So even selling locally may be an option if you don't want to ship something like this, because he didn't ship any of those, and he was able to sell every single one of them for really good money. And when I think about animatronics and inflatables, it also makes me think about some of my own prized Halloween decorations and those are the vintage blow molds. Some blow molds can be worth like 50 bucks, but some of them can be worth so much more than that. Check out the Dracula from 1998, $450. Keep in mind that is with free shipping. It probably costs the seller a little bit to ship that. Down below we see one, the paint is a bit worn for uh, $400. Uh, they took a best offer and there's $50 shipping on that. This skeleton, the rare vintage Don Featherston blow mold, $399.95 with about $40 shipping. And then uh, just below that, same price, about the same shipping. It's important when you're comping out those large items, note whether or not the buyer paid for the shipping, did the seller pay for the shipping, how much did they pay for shipping? Because for instance, I'm in Missouri, I can get a pretty good deal on shipping, but the true cost of an item, the true value of an item, is what the buyer was willing to pay for not only the item, but the shipping as well. A few more examples of Halloween blow molds that sell for a lot, the drippy candles, this huge, uh, again, Don Featherstone, Featherston, must be the artist of these blow molds. His haunted house sells for quite a bit. There is a witch flying over the moon there. She sells for quite a bit. We're talking hundreds of dollars. If you can find this one, that is a vintage Happy Halloween pumpkins lighted blow mold uh, row of pumpkins and it says happy halloween 255 dollars a hundred dollars shipping so 356 dollars and there were 10 bids on that about the time blow molds originally fell out of fashion we replaced them with blow up molds. Now blow molds are back and they're back in a big way. So you may come across those and immediately be drawn to them thinking that they're vintage. Not all are vintage. There are a ton of remakes out there, but let's talk about those blow ups for a little while. The, the big blow ups that are kind of loud in your front yard, but really make a statement. They can make a statement on your wallet too. And on your eBay solds. Look at some of these comps. Thousands, really thousands of dollars. These are brand new, but thousands. It's just an inflatable, but it's not just an inflatable to some. It may not be to some of you watching may think, Rachel, it is not just an inflatable. It is a 25 foot inflated Beetlejuice for $920 plus $35 shipping. That's, that price is wow. Some of these are just six to 12 feet tall and raking in 600 to $900. Look at this one, $650, but Look at the shipping. The shipping is $400. It did not cost $400 to ship this. You could have driven this thing where it was going and it still wouldn't have cost you $400 to ship it. So the true cost, you're around $1,000. You're over $1,000 on these animatronics. The animatronics from Lowe's are called Haunted Living, and I noticed that some of those were selling for a lot of money, including this uh, animated Haunted Deep Sea Diver. He's going for $600 plus shipping this year. Well, I headed over to the Lowe's website to see, because I had to know, how much is he, or was he on Lowe's? $349. Not only is he $349, so people are making almost double, they're making hundreds of dollars every time one of these sells, He's available right now on Lowe's website. He's available, I can drive to a town near me, the closest Lowe's, I can pick this thing up today. So here's the deal, these were selling for over $600 over on eBay, but now that Lowe's has restocked, now that they're not as hard to come by, 
uh, actually several people had these. There are currently 18 listed and some of them um, are really tremendously dropping their price. I saw some still listed for $650, $150 shipping, which again is crazy, but there were some for $499 with free shipping. So they're not making a ton of money. Let's say it cost you $50 to ship that. You're going to be at $440. So you're going to make $100 before fees. So you might make like 60 bucks off of one selling for $4.99 if you bought it for $3.49. And that is because, again, while they were hard to come by at one point in the season, they're not as hard to come by now. Every year I'm gonna tell you guys that Halloween Bath and Body Works is worth picking up, and that's because every year it's going to be worth picking up. Some of these candle holder houses, the light up houses, I mean $775, $630, $500. We're talking about tabletop pieces and these two little tea light candle holders. How many people are thinking that's a Dollar Tree item and walking by it at the thrift store sold for $300 plus shipping? That's crazy good money. This carriage is a piece that just got released this year. They also had a Wallflowers plug-in wall version of it, but if you get the tabletop version, it sells for over $250. So if you were lucky enough to score one of those for your own house and you can let it go, you might be letting go of it to the tune of a couple Benjamins. Moonlit Graveyard, I guess, is a scent that's discontinued. $220 for this scent, for the whole like five piece collection of this scent. That is really good money. Now, not everything Halloween Bath and Body Works is gonna rake in several hundred dollars. Here are some examples of lots of items that sell 15, 20, $30, still good money, still more than what Bath and Body Works was asking for those items in the store. So for the right price, it's always worth picking up and it always sells. People love Halloween Bath and Body Works. There are two artists that I want you guys watching out for in addition to the Scott Smith of Ruckus Studios that we talked about earlier. And those are Bethany Lowe and Joanna Parker. Very similar style. They all look to be old school, super vintage Halloween, and they're all worth so much money. Look at this Bethany Lowe Halloween Large Magic Moon, $350. Here's a Bethany Lowe Candy Bucket, $350. Uh, those paper mache pulp jack lanterns, four bids, guys, $356. These are not vintage German antiques. These are, um, these are newer pieces. And um, the reason I bring up Joanna Parker is that Joanna Parker was spotted at places like Marshall's, TJ Maxx this year. If you can score the right pieces and if you can score vintage Joanna Parker pieces, now listen to me, while there is a very real possibility that you could find a Bethany Lowe piece worth hundreds of dollars like any one of these, there's also a very real possibility you could find a Bethany Lowe piece worth tens of dollars. And there's also a very real possibility that you price an item wrong and you do what these sellers did and start a Bethany Low piece at 99 cents at auction. eBay is not the wild wild west that it used to be. There is no sense in you starting items at a 99 cent auction, especially when there is such a huge price discrepancy being $10 and $20 and $50 Bethany Low pieces and $700 Bethany Low pieces. Research and know what you're looking at, know what you're looking for. Use Google Lens when in doubt. It will be able to pair you up with listings identical to the piece that you found. Um, again, you just need to know what you're looking for. You need to know the styles and the trends that people are willing to pay a lot for. Remember Scott Smith, remember Bethany Lowe, remember Joanna Parker, Gimme, uh, Inflatables, all of those huge animatronics of horror movies, everything else that we learned today, made in Germany, paper mulch, paper mache. Get out there and find some Halloween bolos uh, worth enough to pay your mortgage. I thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it with someone you think could benefit. God bless and remember, treat your business like your business.